We'll customize pages, organize your databases, and design a home page you'll actually enjoy seeing every day. Your home page sets the whole vibe, so let's make it clean, minimal, and pretty to look at while staying super functional. First, switch your page to full width. It gives you extra breathing room, especially when you're working with lots of pages and databases on one screen. Turn off comments to keep things visually clean. And if you have backlinks showing up, turn those off too. They can clutter your space and distract from the clean aesthetic. Now that you have your space, use columns to structure your layout. Just type slash column and you'll see options for two, three, four, or even five columns. I love using two columns, one for navigation, summaries, or cute widgets, and the other for your main focus like current tasks or projects. Finally, create a dashboard style layout using headings, dividers, and icons to organize its section. Your homepage should feel like your own cozy aesthetic digital space, one that inspires you every time you open Notion. Now let's go inside one of your database pages. These often get overlooked, but they're key to keeping things visually organized and easy to navigate. Click the area above the page icon, then select Customize Layout to start setting it up. First, pin your most important properties like dates, text, or priority so they show up right at the top, no scrolling needed. You can pin up to five properties, but don't worry, you can organize the rest using property sections. Click the property settings, select add a section, and group related info together. Like all your task related properties in one section and extra details in another. And try out tabs for linked databases. Instead of having everything stacked on the page, just select the tabbed layout option, click the plus button, and choose the related database you want to add. This lets you display your data in clean, clickable tabs. I love this feature. It keeps everything tidy, balanced, and super stable. This is where Notion becomes both powerful and pretty. Let's make your databases not just functional, but beautifully structured. First, create clear database views to organize your information in different ways using filters such as task for today, this week, or by status import view. This makes it easy to switch perspectives and stay on top of everything. Speaking of board view, try using color-coded columns. It's not just for looks, it helps you Visually separate categories and find what you need at a glance. Use default template inside your database to save time and create consistency. Click the drop down row next to the blue new button, then select new template. From there, you can add icons, set default tags or properties, and design a pre filled layout. It's perfect for repetitive tasks or keeping a consistent aesthetic across pages. To enhance your layout even more, add a background color behind your database using a callout block. Just type slash callout, choose your icon and background color, then drag and drop your database inside the callout block. When dropping, look for the blue line. It shows where your database will end. I personally like placing it right under the first line of the callout block. It keeps everything visually aligned and tidy. It's these small touches that make your setup not just organized, but a space that feels good to work in. This is part where we make Notion feel a little more you. One of my favorite ways to do this is by embedding a music playlist. Adding a Spotify playlist is super common, but Spotify only lets you embed previews of songs, which I think a little annoying. So instead, here's what I do. Head over to music.youtube.com, find your favorite artist or create your own playlist. If it's an artist, look for their album playlist, click the three dots, select share and copy the URL. Back in Notion, paste the URL, then select embed. This way, you'll get a fully playable playlist. It continues to the next song automatically, and you can even click the playlist icon to see all tracks, select a song, then hide it. Plus, the album art cover is super cute. Another option is SoundCloud, but depending on your country, some songs might be unavailable, which is why I usually use YouTube Music. Having music while you journal or plan your day adds such a cozy personal vibe. And to take your dashboard even cuter, try adding a GIF from Giphy. Just type slash image, 
select Kiwi, search for a keyword, and pick Achieve E-Love. It's such a fun way to show your style and make your notion feel more alive. Little things like this turn a notion into more than just a workspace. It becomes a space that feels like you. Let me know in the comments which tip was your favorite or if you have any aesthetic notion hacks of your own. I'd love to hear them.